Hi everyone, welcome to our new channel IQ School Zone. So this is the first video of IQ School Zone. This is about 10th class chapter 4 from mathematics pair of linear equations in two variables. So we are starting our new channel with a new chapter from 10th class pair of linear equations in two variables. So before going to this we need to know what is a linear equation. Linear So what is the meaning of linear line L-I-N-E When you take that equation and draw a diagram in a graph sheet you get a line, straight line you get a straight line in that equation so that equation is called as linear equation so linear equation means when you take the linear equation linear polynomial draw a graph on the graph sheet you get a straight line that equation is called as linear equation the general form of linear equation is ax plus by is equal to c this is in two variables 1 2 first variable x and second variable y so these are called as variables and a and b are called as constant terms a the coefficient of x b the coefficient of y these are constants x y z these are called as variables so in two variables this is the general form if anybody asks you tell me a linear equation in one variable then you have to write like this ax is equal to b this is a linear equation with only one variable x so linear equation in one variable and a linear equation in two variables so if you draw the graph of this line or this line by substituting any values for a and b you get always a straight line only in the graph sheet so if you don't want to check it in graph sheet you can check this one whether it is a linear equation or not by checking its degree if the degree of the equation is 1 what is the meaning of degree the highest power of the equation given so variable power highest power is called as degree so if the degree is 1 then that equation is called as linear equation if I write like this ax is equal to b this is a linear equation in one variable ax plus by is equal to c or any number 0 this is a linear equation in two variables ax plus by plus cz is equal to 0 this is also a linear equation in three variables 1, 2, 3 so we can, we can increase number of variables but if the highest power is only 1 per variable then that equation is called as linear equation equation means we keep equal to real if we don't keep equal to like this ax plus by plus c this is called as linear polynomial if I don't keep equal to 0 it becomes a polynomial if I keep equal to 0 then it becomes equation if I keep less than or equal to or greater than or equal to or less than greater than then it becomes linear inequation Linear equation has equal to and linear inequations like this ax plus by less than or equal to c or greater than or equal to c less than c greater than c all these are called as linear inequations so if equal to is placed then it is called as equation so what is linear we can find in two ways if I draw a graph for this one I get a straight line then this one is called as linear equation Otherwise, simply check the degree of the equation. If the degree of the equation is 1, then it is called as linear equation. So, in this chapter, we are going to learn pair of linear equations in two variables. So, we are taking two, two linear equations and studying those two linear equations as two variables. The linear equations are taken in two variables like this x and y or p, q, z, x like that. Any two variables are taken and formed a linear equation. 
So those two linear equations we are taking here, pair of linear equations. Two linear equations are taken and we study the properties of two linear equations. Are they perpendicular? Are they parallel? Are they coinciding each other? Are they something else, intersecting each other? So we will study two equations, whether they are parallel to each other or coinciding each other like that. We will study about the two linear equations here, two variables. Let us take two equations what they told here in chapter pair of linear equations let us take two linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 second equation a2x pair of linear equations in two variables x and y. So I have taken here x and y as two variables first linear equation and second linear equation. These are two linear equations with variables x and y here. First one I am taking constants as a1, b1, c1 here a2, b2, c2. So a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 is one linear equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 is another linear equations. So, these are two linear equations. We call them two as pair of linear equations. These two pair of linear equations. We will study what happens to these pair of linear equations. And also in this chapter, we will study how to solve two linear equations and find the variable values, x value and y value. There are different methods for finding the variable values x and y. We will study in this chapter. First of all, what we are going to learn is about these two lines. How are these two lines? First one is a straight line and second one is also a straight line. So these two straight lines, are they intersecting each other? Are they coinciding each other? Are they parallel to each other? How to find out? So simple condition is conditions. If first condition a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Then we can say that these lines are coincident lines. What is the meaning of coincident lines? Both lines are passing through each other like this. Coincident lines. This is the first line and this is the second line. Both are on the same. Both are coinciding each other. These two lines are coinciding each other. So we can say that these are coincident lines by seeing at this condition. A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. Then we can say that these are coincident lines. The second condition is A1 by A2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 if this condition is satisfied for the two linear equations then we call them as parallel lines so lines will be like this parallel to each other the two lines here first and second line both will be parallel to each other if this condition is satisfied what is the condition a1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 but not equal to C1 by C2. And the last condition is A1 by A2 itself is not equal to B1 by B2. The first one itself is not equal. A1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2 then we say that these two lines are intersecting lines. So they intersect at only one point. Now we can say about these lines. So these two lines are coincident if this condition is satisfied. They are parallel if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. They are intersecting if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Then the next thing is if the lines are coinciding with each other, then the number of solutions, discuss on the number of solutions. So how many solutions will be there? A point 
anywhere on these lines is a solution. So we will get infinite number of solutions, uncountable number of solutions. We cannot say that this one is the only one solution. We can say any point on these two lines is a solution in coinciding each other. So from here to here, any point here will be a solution. So we can say that infinite number of solutions are there for coincident lines. The next lines are parallel lines. They are not touching each other. So we don't get a point at all. So here we can say that no solution exists. There is no solution for parallel lines because they are not intersecting at all. Now see the third condition, they are intersecting lines. Intersecting at how many points? These two lines are intersecting at only one point. So you get only one solution. One solution or you can say that one means unique solution. Unique means only one. Only one solution exists. That is called as unique solution or one solution. We can say that these lines have infinite solutions. What are those lines? Coincident lines. And parallel lines have no solution. Intersecting lines have only one solution. So from these, we can also say that if all these are equal, first line is dependent on the second line. So these total things are called as dependent equations. So these are called as dependent. So dependent linear equations. One equation is depending on the other equation. So those are called as dependent equations. And one more thing to learn from this topic is here we are getting a solution, number of solutions. Here also we are getting solutions. One solution or here one solution, here number of solutions. But in this one second condition we are getting no solution at all. So if no solution is there, they are called as inconsistent. Inconsistent equations and these are called as consistent equations. The last one is also consistent equations. So for consistent equations only we get solutions. For inconsistent, no solution. So simple way, if, a, if they ask you in exam, does consistent equations have solutions? Yes, consistent equations have solutions. Maybe one solution or infinite number of solutions. What, what do we say about inconsistent equations? Inconsistent equations have no solution at all. Only for consistent solution, consistent equations, solution exists. It may be one solution or infinite number of solutions. But for inconsistent equations, there is no solution at all. From all this, what are dependent equations? So if they satisfy this condition, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, they are called as dependent equations. Those lines are called as coincident lines. The total chapter, this topic and total chapter totally depends on these three points. So these are very, very, very important points to remember for doing the total chapter and also for solving these equations, we need two more methods with this. The total chapter totally depends on these conditions only. So I have to remember these conditions very well. Very easy to remember. If all these are equal coincident, the last one is not equal parallel. The first two are all not equal, they are intersecting. Intersecting means one solution, coincident, infinite number of solutions, parallel lines, no solution. So all are equal, so they are dependent equations. These are not dependent equations. These are dependent equations. Both equations are dependent. So coinciding means infinite number of solutions. Here one solution, here no solution. Then coming to consistent and inconsistent. If there is solution, one or many solutions, they are called as consistent. If there is no solution, they are called as inconsistent equations. So in the next class, we will try to solve problems on these conditions. Okay. Thank you for watching.